This is the Vivo X200 Pro Mini and it's equipped with the latest Dimensity MTK9400 chip guys and a while ago I did a very interesting test with my Xiaomi 15 equipped with the latest Snapdragon 8 OLED this is the phone that is behind my Vivo the idea was to find out how much power it will consume under extreme stress testing in this case it was with 3D marks Dimensity 9400 is a very interesting chip and a lot of people are saying that it's able to perform nearly as good as the Snapdragon 8 OLED and also not consuming so much power and yes in this video I'm going to repeat the very same test using of course 3 mark and also performance testing by perfdoc so guys what i am gonna do right now i'm gonna go straight in my settings because for this test i need to repeat the very same conditions that i use on the xiaomi namely just go and use the boost mode all right the performance will be improved with high power consumption and guys what i'm gonna do right now i'm going to put a wildlife extreme stress test and just monitor with perfdoc i've started the 3 mark extreme stress test and you can observe here the F FPS, the CPU, and what is very important, the power consumption. Sadly, we cannot see the GPU location, but I can tell you it is for sure 100%. I'm already in loop number five. But at the end, what really matters is, can the Vivo X200 Pro Mini with the Dimensity 9400 by MediaTek just beat the Snapdragon 8 Elite, deliver better performance or the same performance with less heat, with less power consumption guys because remember the more power it draws the more heat it generates and heat is the enemy for sustained performance let's see this is going to be very interesting again the snapdragon 8 lit by qualcomm is made on the same 3 nanometer process and here we have the latest mediatek chip dimensity 9400 again built on the very same 3 nanometer process so it's just so interesting to see will the vivo x100 pro mini on this boost mod just be able to finish the test and if yes then well is it going to be better than the xiaomi we by the way started off with like 30 celsius it's already round number six and we are at 44.9 the xiaomi 15 overheated with more than 51 celsius at round number 18 so let's just see 14 rounds more to go At this exact round number 18, the Xiaomi 15 died with like 51 to 52 Celsius. Look at this, only 45 Celsius, guys. So this is Dimensity 9400 by MediaTek. I think it's impressive. I can wait really for the test to finish. Now, I don't have any doubts that the phone will still survive. It seems that the chip is delivering the same performance or just a tiny bit lower compared to the Snapdragon 8 OLED, but it's able to stay really cool. And by the way, both phones are the same size almost, like see, 44.7, 44.7 is no brainer. The Xiaomi again at this point was running on H50 to 51. And when you pass 51 Celsius and it's game over, then it overheats. This thing here is not even drawing six seven watts you can see four thousand five thousand milliwatts so it's going to be interesting to see at the end the stability rating and then of course i'm going to show you the perf doc results and we're going to analyze them together versus the results that i got from the xiaomi 15. this is it the phone survived let's check the temperatures guys 43.8 now we can also see how it did it because the best loop score was 5473 i think the xiaomi can do more than 6000 but see here guys the lowest loop score was 2800 which means that the stability rating of course isn't great and we can see exactly how dimensity 9400 handled this it really started off quite strong then limited the performance gradually gradually to almost like half 
of what it was getting in the beginning so what is also impressive is we lost 11 percent of battery the temperature even inside only went up to 44 celsius the frame rate was between 12 and 38 fps and now let's open perfdoc and see what has happened this is perfdoc result on the 3d mark extreme stress test for 20 loops on the vivo x200 pro mini guys you can see the average fps 21.5 this thing here most impressive 6501 milliwatts so 6.5 watts and let me show you guys the xiaomi like 2000 milliwatts more of course of course it delivered a better performance in terms of average fps with like 6 fps more for the 18 rounds before it died and this here is the joint comparison and although the vivo scored some points with final Analyzing the test, the Xiaomi 15 was delivering more average FPS for the 18 rounds that the test was going on. I'm gonna go directly straight to the battery. This is most impressive 8508 milliwatts for the Xiaomi, drawing a lot of power and just generating something like 51 52 Celsius with that tiny body. And impressive 6501 milliwatts for the Vivo X200 Pro Mini. This is good in my book. This is the CPU allocation, by the way, 70% for the Xiaomi versus only 11% for the vivo x200 pro mini the xiaomi 15 average battery time was like 43.9 celsius and the vivo only 41.3 honestly i think this is impressive performance now the xiaomi 15 the snapdragon 8 a little still tiny bit more powerful just pumping up these crazy fps's but as you can see the price you pay at the end really is a lot of power consumption that's a lot of heat and the xiaomi 15 is a very small sized phone for the modern style that's to just have like the proper cooling but i do guess that with the pro and the ultra with the bigger phones and the better cooling most probably the snapdragon 8 Elite is still going to outperform the dimensity mediatek 9400 chip guys let me know what you think down below in the comments thank you so much for watching and if you like content like this just go and watch some of my previous videos stay safe vst over and bye